Today I'm at the studio of composer, musician, songwriter David Lawrence, who's been kind enough to let me come by and chat with him today. How are you, David? I'm excellent, thank you, Matt. Thanks again for having my me. My pleasure, my pleasure. Well, you've been very busy. Thank and uh, Knock on wood. A lot of wood in here to <laughs> knock on. Yeah, plenty of wood in this studio. Yeah. Um, what, what's been happening? Tell us a little bit about uh, your projects. I uh, did a uh, movie for Sci-Fi over the summer and did a, uh, a movie for uh, Disney Channel uh, end of the summer. Uh, starting up a musical for Disney Channel. Uh, my wife and I are songwriter producers. Mm -hmm. uh, we're going to be writing the songs and uh, some songs and uh, doing some score. Uh, doing score for the movie as well. Mm -hmm. uh, I started a new drama in a couple of weeks for uh, USA and CBS called Common Law. Please mm. watch it. How would you say your rooms changed or modified? Um, you know, the structure has has stayed the same. In the last ten years, I basically uh, the troughs are empty now. All the <laughs> wires are gone, uh, thank goodness, uh, and everything is in the box. Uh, just because of the advance of uh, sequencing software, uh, DP has just kicked it in like a whole other, you know, environment, arena, and level. Mm -hmm. And uh, third-party plugins are just crazy. Libraries mm -hmm. now are just really, really amazing. So it uh, didn't need to do as much live recording as I used to do. Mm -hmm. And uh, technology has changed where now everything just sounds fabulous mm -hmm. in the box. So uh, You're, of course, using DP. And, uh, and, and what uh, features are you kind of using day-to-day -day with the work that you do? Um, I'm a very big fan of the uh, pitch correcting software. I kind of use both uh, Melodyne and DP's pitch correcting software for different reasons, but I'm, I'm very comfortable with DP's pitch correcting. So I, I tend to use that more as my, my workhorse. Mm -hmm. uh, and because I still do record live stuff in the room here, uh, mostly soloists, uh, when I do pre-mixing to get ready for pre-dubs and final mix, I have uh, become very, very uh, enamored with digital volume automation. So mm -hmm. I was always a fader guy, old school. Uh, and now faders are just so inaccurate and foreign to me because <laughs> you can just really dial in exactly how you want things to be automated volume-wise. So I, I'm sort of obsessed with dialing the volume mm -hmm. automation now. So is that so. something you do when you're writing as well, like when you're doing MIDI parts? Well, that's, um, yeah, I mean, when my string performances and brass performances and more sort of orchestral dynamics uh, I do exclusively with volume automation unless it's a sample that's sort of a crescendo or a decrescendo sample but mm -hmm. in terms of just expression uh, I do that all with MIDI. So you're playing your parts in sort of when you write and compose them? Yeah I mean I sort of play them as a performance right? but all of the sort of nuance is with volume automation. You know I love the fact that everything is broadcast wave now, so it's really, really easy now to go from Pro Tools sessions in audio to DP sessions because the audio is so compatible now. And you know, Sound Designer was good for a while, but you know, now that everything is sort of 24-bit, 48K as a broadcast wave, uh, may, and exporting time code embedded in it is is made it a very, very simple, seamless process for music editors and mm -hmm. other engineers that are in Pro Tools sessions. And so that that's been fabulous. Mm -hmm. um, I love, love the new theme palettes. <laughs> um, I was getting very tired of white, uh, and I just love the look of the interface. Mm. Um, I have picked my favorite, um, which is not too disco, and it's not too trippy, and it's not mm -hmm. too futuristic. I love the colors, I love the palettes, and I love the consolidated windows. Oh, that's great. I was noticed that you're using that. I love consolidated windows. It's, I'm very, very anal about how things need to be organized, and it's just incredible to be able to look at all of it at one shot. In one shot. Um, that's important to me. And do you use track folders as well? Love track folders. Um, yeah, I mean, you know, obviously when you get to a point where you have very high track count, mm -hmm. um, it could take you days just to scroll down to find your fourth violin. Mm -hmm. So it's really nice to have everything sort of subgrouped and then even in those subgroups, subgrouped even further. It's just so you know where to go. That's th that's a fabulous feature. That's, that's a really great. great feature. Fantastic. And I see that you have a channel strip too where you can get to fader. Yeah, quicker. channel strip is great because if I really need to sort of zone in on one move, uh, uh, not so much in terms of volume, like I said, I'd kind of like to write that stuff, or initially it gets input, you know, with a MIDI fader, but mm -hmm. uh, it's really great in terms of just accessing information on that track right away. If I need to make a tiny little volume move, I'll grab the fader up there and just kind of zip it. Mm -hmm. So it's really nice to have that isolated up there. Channel Strip's great. I love it. Fantastic. And uh, so, so what, 
What would you say overall like makes DP your choice of tool? Um, it's really powerful. It's been incredibly stable, problem free. Um, it's very intuitive. You know, I probably still use about 25% of what it does. Mm -hmm. There's 75% I don't use, but it's all always on a need to know basis. Sure. Um, but I love the look. It's very intuitive. Um, it's very powerful. And most importantly, um, the familiarity of having been using DP for all these years and having sort of grown with it and been experiencing all of DP's growing pains, <laughs> uh, there, there are very few growing pains left. And uh, it's a beautiful interface to look at. Um, just beautiful. So, um, I mean, overall, I mean, you can't beat stability. So, <laughs> it's peace of mind. You go to sleep at night knowing nothing's going to like wig out. So, that's important. Sonically, um, I love the way it sounds. Um, it's kind of an esoteric uh, qualitative observation, mm -hmm. uh, but I do notice a difference from working with other people using different DAWs that uh, DP definitely has a, a characteristic, transparent, non-biased sound to it. That sort of a real pure kind of sound? Warm and pure, yeah. And it's, uh, it's very noticeable when you're working on other systems. Well, that's great. Well, thanks so much. It's my pleasure. And uh, congratulations on all your success. Thank you very much. Keep knocking.